Earlier today at Hamilton Estate, an official ribbon cutting ceremony took place to signal the commencement of the drilling operations for the geothermal test well. Deputy Premier and Cabinet appointed Minister responsible for the geothermal project, the Honourable Mark Brantley outlined the significance of the project. Uh, this project, this geothermal project, has been an exercise that has now occupied the minds of governments and even through change of governments on the island of Neva since about 2004. And so as we stand here today in November of 2017, we're talking about nigh 13 years that we have been trying to get to a point where we can move this project forward. I think the advantages of geothermal are well known. We're talking about clean energy, green energy, cheaper energy, and a renewable uh, resource that really puts Nevis in a category of its own. If we can achieve what we intend to achieve here, it means that Nevis becomes uh, fossil fuel free for this generation of electricity. It puts us really in a category of our own in the Caribbean and perhaps in the world in terms of being completely sustainable for our electricity supply. According to Brantley, a total of six locals have been employed on the project thus far. This is a resource given to us by God. It is a resource that is made available to us and it is for us now to harness that for the benefit of the people of Nevis. I am not the Minister of Energy, of course, but the Cabinet in its wisdom decided to have me deal with this specific project because of my prior involvement in 2004 and continuing when this project originally started uh, way back when. Uh, we have made, I think, considerable progress. I want to thank the SIDF that has provided some resources to bring us to this point. I want to thank uh, Bruce, uh, Dan, NREI, uh, Thermal Energy Partners. I want to thank our drillers who have come. And I'm especially pleased that I was told this morning that six uh, locals, six residents have been employed thus far on this project. And what that means is that we are going to have some transfer of skills. It means that these six youngsters who are here will now know about geothermal, know about drilling. And as we feel the rest of the Caribbean will take pattern from Nevis, it means that they will have a skill that is exportable and that in time they themselves might be elsewhere working on drill rigs and working to make geothermal projects a reality elsewhere. The minister responsible then underscored the ultimate goal of the project. It's a tremendous opportunity for us all here on the island to rally behind this project and to wish the drillers, the developers all the very best. If they succeed, we succeed. And if they succeed, we get cleaner, greener, cheaper energy. And that ultimately is what is important to us. We feel that geothermal will generate other activities that other industries can develop around uh, this because of the cheaper cost of electricity to us. And we feel that it definitely is going to give Nevis some bragging rights in terms of being able to say that we are the first in the region that has weaned itself off fossil fuels. The drilling of the test well is expected to be completed in 45 days. Dosek Exploration Services LLC drilling contractors based in Salt Lake City, Utah, have been contracted by Nevis Renewable Energy International, NREI, to undertake the drilling process. The test well is projected to be 4,000 meters deep. It will be used to collect all data possible to satisfy the financiers. After the test well has been drilled and the data analyzed, final adjustments will be made to the engineering. They would then move to the process of starting the production well planned in early 2018. Present at the brief ceremony were Nevis representative for NREI McLevin Trust, President of NREI Daniel Pfeffer, Chief Executive Officer of NREI Bruce Cartwright, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Natural Resources and the Environment Dr. Ernie Stapleton, Acting General Manager of the Nevis Electricity Company Limited, Nevlek, and Area Representative Spencer Brand. <laughs>